And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swole Cat. One of my favorite decks to play. It's been a little bit since we've played it, so we're going to bring it back. Right now, Make It Rain just today uh, now costs three mana instead of two. So that probably means that people won't be playing as much Make It Rain today. You know, in the coming days, they'll probably go back to it, but, but probably not today. That's what I'm kind of hoping, um, because Make It Rain is a really good card against our two drops with the Young Witch and Trifarian Glory Seeker both having one health. So hopefully we see a little bit less Make It Rain today. But this deck is, is named Swole Cat for um, Swole... You know, basically it was like Swole Squirrel and Kato the Arm. Um, but I don't know, Swole Kato, I didn't like that as much. So we call it Swole Cat and because we have the Katarina in here also. So those... Those two, Kato and Katarina, are the K-A-T part of this. Um, but it started off as just a meme tier deck, because, you know, build a Swole Squirrel deck, so it started as a meme tier deck. But it's done really well each time that we've played it, and we now we're just taking it over to ranked each time. I really like Fey Guide in here. I think Fey Guide's just an awesome card, being able to grant Elusive. Um, we have different support things to help out our Swole Squirrel. But the card that's the probably the most important in here out of all of them, honestly, is the Trifarian Glory Seeker, this card overperforms in here when paired with Lulu and with um, and with Shen. It does very well with both of those cards. Um, also Young Witch, giving it the plus one, plus zero quick attack. All these support cards really make the Trifarian Glory Seeker uh, do really well. Of course, the Legion Drummers in here also giving the quick attack. Um, but yeah, all right, anyway, let's, let's give this a try. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. Love to get another four one. We've gotten two four ones today. Four ones are awesome. This has been the most popular deck today, for sure. Lots and lots of discard burn. I'm not sure our deck is as good against discard burn as the others that we have been playing. <laughs> Judging from the old pattern, you're expecting a 1-4 now. Yeah, that's... That's fair. That's fair. So I, I do like that Flower Child's a one-drop that doesn't die to Jury Rig, right? Like, it, if we had, like, a cool one-drop, like a Flea Feather Tracker here attack, they go Jury Rig. That wouldn't have been as good. All right, so the Heartbeat of Noxus is going to be this House Spider blocking my Legion Drummer. Do I play any of these cards? Let me go this way. Yeah. Definitely think about using one of these two three mana cards on the House Spider to keep Legion Drummer alive. Um, but this way we'll just do the five damage, keep this three two. Oh, I should probably play the Flower Child. So we're going to Whirling Death kill this. Do we want to trade here? Next turn I'm playing Kato. And Kato would make this Flower Child bigger, but I also have the new... I have this other Flower Child to use. Let's just trade with the Battlecaster. Let's just do that trade. All right, let's see. So we're gonna play Kato. Get excited. So obviously we don't want to see any more Jinx, but we do have the Challenger that can deal with Jinx. 
something. Ugh. That's not good. I wanted Kato the arm to be able to not only uh, help support the Glory Seeker, but you know, obviously we need multiple bodies for the transfusion. Was that two visions? That was two visions. Man, good thing I used the Culling Strike when I did. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, good thing we used that vision whenever I did. Double vision. All right, cool. Let's go, Lulu. I've had really good card draw. Gone through an extra six cards than what we have. Ouch. These augmented experimenters, they have been great. What science without a little risk? Double Draven gone. Remember me. Shows they really wanted to get rid of that. Take out the flame chompers. Ugh. All right, Owen one. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, we got scouts. Lots of scouts today too. Looks like we're just kind of playing some aggro to, to figure out the new metagame. Um. Maybe this wasn't the best deck to play today. All right, but let's keep these two. So Katarina, no, actually, I should mulligan Katarina. I like the I like the um, Blades Edge that it creates. But it's also really expensive. We don't have time for it early. Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. All right, so Young Witch or Legion Drummer. I'm gonna go Legion Drummer. I wouldn't really mind them playing a, a two drop and Legion Drummer trading with the two drop with me having two other support cards in hand. So we're gonna play the three two. If we're in like the scenario where we need to make sure that our um, support thing would stay alive, we would play the Young Winch. Lots of two one challengers. Today. All right, hoping to draw Shen. Break their spirits That's the card I want. Harry, repose, you are the heart. So, great turn for them. Getting a three for two on their side and trading with a good amount of mana from me. All right, no Shen. We'll play the squirrel. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'll be damned. So they probably got more 2-1 challengers. Um, but we'll take that. Could be good. Hopefully be able to play the Legion Drummer for the transfusion. Demacian needs heroes. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Double the power. Yes. All right, Swole Squirrel next turn with Might and Whirling Death. Oh man, this could be awesome. Victory. You're easy to track. So they're going to need 
something good. That's not gonna do it. They're gonna need Mega Rain. So I have options. I could go, I guess. Okay, so the, the cooler way to win is Whirling Death and Mike. Because Whirling Death, it strikes, it doubles the power, and then the Overwhelm. That's like the way cooler way to win. But if they have Make It Rain, they could still, you know, they could kill my Swole Squirrel. Where, like, if I go Stand United, they probably can't kill Swole. Like, they're probably just completely dead. Like, they can't have, like, single combat, anything. It's not as cool. I don't know. I guess Stand United's pretty cool, too. So we'll just, we'll do this. This is the safe way. But I'm just saying, we could have gone Whirling Death Might, which would have been super cool. But yeah, safer, safer, like, this is, like, the guaranteed win. And there we go. One and one. We don't get, you know, a 50 power Swole Squirrel afterwards. I don't like saying that nobody plays, like, especially cards that are as as good as Make It Rain in single combat. I don't want to say that, like, nobody plays Make It Rain, because you, you, never, you never know what anybody's going to do. Like, random people can play random things. I don't, I don't ever... That's something that I never, I don't want to ever say about, you know, any any player with any deck. That's that's not a thought that I come to have of just no one plays the, you know, X card. Ex especially cards that are that important in the metagame, like Mega Rain, Single Combat, they're everywhere. If you're talking about, like, I don't know, some, some random, you know, like, seven mana epic that isn't any good... Okay, then you can say no one plays that card. But I'm I'm not gonna ever I'm never gonna play against the opponent and think, alright, well they, there's no chance they have make it rain or in their deck, or there's no chance that they have single combat in their deck. So I think we're just taking all of the damage. Yeah, I think we're just taking all the damage. Is that a familiar frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Rand! He's now made a day, hello. Hello. It's a lot of damage. Everything's in place. Wasn't ideal amount of damage to take. The world awaits forward. Show them the might of Noxus. Don't get too close. We got this. Never. All right, kill that. Let's me take a negative three. Let me go into negative three. So Got to block two things. Darn, I was, hope I was hoping we only had to block one. We need one more mana. I need Might plus Lulu next turn. We need one more mana. This might hurt. I think we'd have this if we had one more mana. This is gonna be tough as is. With Lulu plus Might, like Lulu turning this into a 4-4 and then also Mighting Flower Child. I feel pretty good about it. All right, Kato. So this is going to be 8 Overwhelm, so now that, that doesn't do it. Yeah, I needed one more mana. It is me! It's not over. No, but they have Nexus damage, it probably is. The spiderling block here. I mean, they could just have both their spiders block. It's possible I should recalibrate. I should just have my. I should just have this thing get the quick attack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Alright, more discard burn. So, super aggro meta. I think we need to keep all of these. How about don't say we're gonna go 1-4. We don't need... Don't be negative. We got this. We're going 3-2. and two. So I think I'd rather trade Legion Drummer for Battlecaster than Culling Strike. But maybe that's incorrect with me having these transfusions. Let's take a real close look at the action. Defend the Empire. Oh, that's gotta stay. Okay. Alright, what do we got? I have the best job. Okay. So I guess I just pass. I could, I don't. Well. Show them the might of Noxus. I guess if they if they go spinning axe on the one one, then they can't protect their Draven from Culling Strike. Theoretically, they could still have Vision. Now we're cooking. So it's, theoretically. But I'm doing this to hopefully open up Culling Strike on Draven. So hopefully no vision. I guess I should be doing that during combat anyway, because now they can play a new Draven. So that's also my bad. Please don't play a new Draven. Battlecaster. Yeah, I do too, after Wizard. I do too. I need just a moment. What time is it? The Jinx Raven deck's good. Yeah, it's it's a good deck. Anything else? <laughs> if you're not playing some specific cards against it, Face me. it's gonna be difficult to beat, and I give you I'm not like the deck that I'm playing right now is not really playing, you know, Noxus Ionia here. I'm not really playing great cards against it, to be honest. I I definitely think we're going to be killing them next turn if if we don't die between this attack and block a three two. Between this attack and burn spells, if they don't if they don't kill us, I feel pretty good about winning this game. But the likelihood is they will be killing us. Why the Lulu? We have Kato here. Why the why the Lulu? So I can use double transfusion and and save Lulu. I don't feel like Lulu is. No, it's not worth it. What science without a Because basically, I would use I would use one transfusion to do one damage to Lulu, and then put like two health <laughs> on my Kato, and then do one damage to the Kato, and put two back on the Lulu. All right, so we could do it like that. <laughs> but it's not worth it because we're gonna be killing them here. I don't really get punished by playing Fey Guide. Spark and I will keep you safe. Like another augmented experimenter that then finds burn spells, that's how I get punished here. Yeah, see like that kind of stuff they'd be able to do anyway. Okay, so now we need Kato to survive. They have another removal spell for Kato. 
Um, but if they had another removal spell for Kato, they'd probably just kill me. All right, GG's. Two and two. Look at us beat Discard Burn. Lisa and Zed. Five mana Lisa and gonna be our first time seeing it. With the Lisa and Zed. Come here, pup. Come here. Jump. Hey. Are you gonna jump or not? There you go. In an, an Ionia mirror. Yeah, Leeson has the health buff, so it's not much of a nerf. Yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. But it's a nerf. A five mana three five is worse than a three than a four mana three four. Like this. Mm -hmm. So while it may not be much of a nerf, it's Sharpen a nerf. Blades, He's a nerf. Go oh, Lulu. Face me. So Pill Cascade will not be good for me either way. You know, like block here Pill Cascade or over here Pill Cascade. Alright. That's just how it is. Cascade's so awesome. With the draw card. Oh. That's what you like, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey's looking at me like, what are you do what are you saying? Kato puts the most pressure on them. I like this, how we still have Transfusion slash Might. Especially Transfusion. I can see them playing Hush on Glory Seeker. Or just taking a lot of damage, one of the two. Beware the Dragon Spirit. I don't know, what's the Dragon Spirit like? Am I supposed to beware of it if you won't give me more information? Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the teeth, though. I'm gonna just pass and see what they do. I definitely assume they're gonna be attacking. I know they can they can make me waste more mana. But they should be attacking and challenging. Our enemies cannot hide. Alright, that's that Sonic Wave is really bad, yeah, because they could just kill this, and even if I use transfusion. They kill that. Alright, so that was really bad for me. I will not hold back. Oh wait. These resonating strike over here. So now I can I can save. Can I save Glory Seeker? Hell Cascade is busted. This card's busted. Hmm. What time is it? Hell Cascade has wrecked me. Challenge, or we're gonna support Kato into Kato into Legion Drummer into Flower Child. 
Maybe I just go Kato on both of these so I kind of have all four threats be similarly large. Remember why we fight. So it'd be like this. It'd be two fives and two sixes. Instead of making one eight where like the eight the leeson can soak up eight damage. I'll see this through. Act free of doubt. I will not hold back. Put him down to zero. Got another guiding touch. Poor Lee Sin. Can't stay alive. All right, puppy. We did good. We went three and two, just like I said. Three and two. GG, so there we go. See, another winning record for Swole Cat. Even with some tough matchups of like the super fast aggro, we played against four fast aggro decks, if you count, if you count scouts. As a fast aggro, uh, we played against four, and uh, went two and two in those matches. I'll definitely take 500 in those matches, and then yeah, played against a little slower deck with the Lee Sin, and that one was a win. I, I would feel pretty good about beating Lee Sin um, quite a bit with this. These I don't know. There's just so many good little combat cards in here, you know that, that we've have with, like the Might, the Whirling Death, your Stand United, such an underrated card, and of course our opponents, the Transfusions were awesome. The opponents just don't really know exactly what to do because we just we're not playing like the same kind of cards that everybody else is. We're gonna be surprising people quite a bit with a lot of these things. So yeah, another good another good showing for Swole Cat. Just a fun deck to play. One of my favorites. Yep, Swole Cat never fails. All right. Uh, anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Any other kind of comments you got. Um, what, what do you want to see on stream or, you know, anything else? Love having those comments. All right. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Swole Cat, and I'll see you for the next video.